All right, Fabian, thank you for asking the question. You have a lot of ideas, as many of us entrepreneurial people do, and some doubts, as all yes. of us do as well, about how to start your business. And because of these overwhelming ideas, you know, number of ideas and, and the resulting doubts or the, the doubts that happen to all of us, uh, nothing happens or you get this resistance and, and you get blocked as a result. So what are some first steps I would recommend to get into meaningful action? Um, so thank you for asking. And the first thing I want to do is give, uh, uh, give two links um, it, below this video. So those of you watching later, you can look below to get two links. And the first link is um, actually, I should probably should have reversed them. Uh, but, but the first link I chatted below for those of you live here is the 10 year plan, uh, the 10 year plan for authentic business. And the second link was um, the first business steps. So whichever one you want to read is just fine. Probably the first business steps is a little bit less, <laughs> less overwhelming. But let me just kind of explain these two briefly to what you can expect. And then, Fabian, we can have a bit of a conversation about exactly what you're trying to do. So, um, yeah, probably start with the first business steps, uh, which probably actually, because I've gotten this question so many times over the years, I decided to write a blog post, make a video about it. So I think that one will be a really good uh, primer for what the first steps I recommend are. And even those of you watching this who are way farther along might wanna take a look at those uh, first steps because it might streamline things for you for your next steps, even if you're farther along. Um, and so what you'll see in the first steps there isn't you know, uh, hire a coach for $5,000 to get the most perfect brand <laughs> and uh, the most perfect website and uh, the most perfect niche and there, you know, that is typically um, what I what stops a lot of people is is the starting with perfection, uh, and you know, I, I I'm a big picture perfectionist. I, I like to say it that way, not a small picture perfectionist, um, because a small picture perfectionist is I got to get this next thing perfect. Uh, when launching your business is the next thing, so I got to get my launch perfect. Perfect brand, perfect core message, perfect framework, perfect uh, website, and then perfect clarity of niche and audience. And then therefore, I can then go out and be perfect, <laughs> uh, which those of you who have tried know, my God, it's, it's impossible because there's so many factors, so many what ifs, so many well, what about that path or this brand or this core message or this niche or impossible to know. How, how, how do you possibly know? You can journal all day long and have the most perfect career coach, but there's still, at the end of the day, a business is an interaction between your passion, experiences, assets, and the audience's wants and the, the market context, the market you know, realities of the moment. And so the only way to know with the fact that the business is an interaction is you have to interact with the market to find out, oh my God, I thought it was going to be this direction, but no, pivot. To this direction and it's i'm pivoting all the time i pivot a, a, a lot in the first couple of years uh first couple of months first couple of days <laughs> and then now of course now that i'm 13 years into it i pivot less often but i still pivot sometimes to say oh i thought this was going to be the product but maybe it's going to be this one instead but the first three months I'm pivoting every day oh i thought it was going to be a life coach no i'm going to be a holistic healer no i think i want to do relationship counseling oh no no no! i think i want to be a spiritual mentor and, and next day why not all of it george says it's okay to be multi-passionate <laughs> you know first three days you're going to pivot 24 times that's okay and then the next three days you'll pivot 10 times <laughs> and next the next 10 days you'll pivot only twice <laughs> and then on and on and the kind of like you pivot less and less as you go on but the first three months you're pivoting 185 times or something like that maybe only pivot like four times but it feels significant each time you you change directions and that's supposed to be like that you know um hey. so you can expect oh hello dog hey. <laughs> dogs are Sorry. Always, dogs and hey. cats and animals hey. are always welcome always <laughs> welcome in, in in the video yeah. so yeah um and then the other blog post, 10-year plan, what you can expect there is, well, it's just like it sounds, a 10-year plan. And it sounds really long. Some of us are like, I don't know if I have 10 years to live, <laughs> let alone work on a business, right? Um, it's okay. If you, if you read the blog post and you have a more spacious 
program, you might say, for yourself. At least you give, give you some breathing space. It's not really a 10 year necessarily, but it's more like a 10 stage or 10 phase plan. You could take each phase for three months if you want to do that instead of one year. So then it becomes a 30 month plan, you know? So it's up to you how you want to use it. But 10 years is very spacious. And actually, in many cases, it's reasonable. Now, you, you start making money in, you know, the, the, the first and second year. Uh, and you might even be full time by the third or fourth year or the third or fourth phase. You might be fourth full time income. But 10 years allows for semi retirement and having a team and all that. It's quite, quite built out. So check that out. Um, so that uh, orientation to those two blog posts. But Fabian, I'd love to hear any specifics about what you're trying to get done or any specifics about the resistance or the block that you're mm -hmm. encountering. Yes, thank you very much. Hi, I'm Fabian from Germany. And yeah, over 22 years, I'm self-employed as an online marketing manager. Amazing, yeah. And um, yeah, I made over 100 projects project after project and four years ago I broke physically and uh, some very bad things happened too I lost uh, two very um, uh, what is it called very um, close souls to me mm. yes, and I lost my sense the sense of of life my, my purpose uh, as yeah. it called and um I can teach people as a, at the moment I call myself online marketing coach for empathetic person who loves their work. But this is just an, yeah, a sign where I'm behind, yeah. uh, where I hide myself. Yes. And um, I can tell, of course, a lot of things what you do. I know a lot of things. I made a lot of courses. I listened to a lot of courses, but at this at the moment nothing really happens there are two forces and in the middle nothing really works and um as it not works nothing happens yes everything works for my customer but nothing for me so i started a new website and um one year ago and nothing happens since then i'm just watching videos <laughs> and i'm getting crazy about uh, crazy about that I'm, uh, I'm reading books, things like this. Very good stuff, of course. But my, my brain is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> but it's not exploding. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's becoming <laughs> bigger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it's, it's, it's un unbelievable to, to see myself doing nothing. It's yeah. like, what is it called? The rocket horse? The wooden yeah. thing? Yes. Yeah. I'm getting wide on it. Yeah. But I don't move one centimeter yeah yes. that's such a and, good analogy yes. <laughs> and it makes fun yeah but it's uh, um you can't live from uh, from yeah. this um, right. yeah. and, and this is the thing and the question I, I wrote yesterday um how can the first steps be of yeah. course if someone asked me this if a, if a customer would ask me for for a project maybe he want to get more clients via google adwords i can tell him Yes, no problem. Yes, but for me to say, okay, yes. I don't. I, I, I must explain. I don't want uh, to work in projects. Uh, um, yeah, I don't. I don't like it anymore because yes. you have a project. You have a big budget. Yes, of um, course. Yeah. You're nearly burned out after a project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then yeah. you have to to start again. The opposite uh, of working lightly. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, for seven years, I'm working for my own. Right. Uh, yeah. Um, because my, um, uh, my my company burned burned yeah with fire seven years ago and um, we all decided to work for our own and now I'm working right. only with for me in the so, network right yeah. so the thank you I, I think what you've described I hope you can understand yes yeah the, what you've described is relevant to a lot of us here who are who are live here and I think a lot of those watching later it's this I, I love this rocking horse analogy there's movement but you're not going <laughs> anywhere uh, now you're not making yeah. any money just to, unless of course you know same with the rocking horse. think about the rocking horse they're usually like a coin slot you know you put a coin slot <laughs> so the thing can rock if people are if, if you're entertaining enough on the rocking horse maybe people are putting up coins yeah. right which is what a lot of influencers are doing right they they, they yeah. create create themselves yeah. Yeah. in their process 
process and people put coins, you know, they Patreon or yeah. whatever. But 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 back back to like the building a business and and filling your head with knowledge. Uh, and, and therefore, um, the, the problem with, with knowledge is the more you learn, the more you realize you don't know. <laughs> the more you realize that there's even more to learn before I can really, really, the next book, the next course will really now finally yeah. get my perfect framework, my perfect next step. So, so the reality is, um, I was just talking to this yesterday with a, another group of uh, clients, like, life is silent like that i've always found it really interesting you know like if you just stop right now life is silent like there's no i mean unless some of you can literally hear from your guardian angels and higher guides okay that's that's wonderful amazing but for most of us life is silent about what our next steps are and unless you're like listening to me and consuming information is no longer silent the people talking but it's like i feel like life is always beckoning to me, to us, to say, what, what, what do you think are the next steps? And it's sort of this opportunity life continually gives us to step into more of our authentic power to make a decision, to say, there could be a million steps, I could read a million books, take a million courses, but I am gonna decide the next step is gonna be this because life allows me that opportunity to say, yeah, yeah, come, come on, you, you could, do however you want to. So, so, so let me ask you this, um, Fabian. Given, given that, if I were to ask you to choose or to decide what's one next step for you, what do you think? And and you're an interesting case because you have helped so many other people do this, you know. Yes. And and so, that, with the irony, of course, is that might even make it harder for you. But if I were to say, Fabian, uh, after this call, you're going to have to take one next step. What what do you think the next step is going to be? I can only say to that, if I would know where to go, up a hill or to the beach or something like this, <laughs> I can tell you. But I'm sitting here, I, I know what I want from, from, from my life. Okay, what, what do you want? Let's start there. Yeah, no, no, to, 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 feel, um, to feel free. I need, I need freedom. Uh -huh, I need okay. to manage my time. I'm a creative yeah. person and creativity, okay, comes uh, during work, but I need a bit of inspiration. I, I need a lot of time for me. I'm a musician as well. I need oh, time in the nature yeah. right. with my dog, with my wife. Yes. Um, yes. And yep. I want to do, of course, my best, not as a perfectionist, as yeah. I love the things I do when the, yeah. I do this, when I do them. Um, but at the moment, I can really not say what I'm aiming. I, I don't yeah, yeah. talk about money. I don't know something, right. something like that. That's really, really good. So, so I, there's, of course, the desire for freedom, um, which means how you shape your time structure, um, the desire to, for example, spend more time in nature and with, with loved ones. And that also, of course, speaks to well, are you carving out the time to do that? In terms, in terms of the, the work, the, you know, your, your money-making work, what do you think is the next step? <laughs> okay, we're getting closer. Um, I have a wish I can answer to this. Um, I wish to create something like a course or courses okay. where I don't have to be all the time on air. Yeah. You know what I mean by that? Yes. Yeah, I like course. coaching. I, I love, as a, you must imagine yesterday yes. I booked your course. And today I'm now speaking live to you in front yeah. of everyone, yeah, yeah. feeling a bit discomfort, of course, <laughs> uh, about my English. And I appreciate but your but courage. I, I, I like it when the spot goes on. I like it yes. huh, to be on the right. stage. Right, 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 right. Maybe there are no yeah. stages around me. I can't see them. No. Right. You know what right. I mean? I'm not in the business. I'm not in actually, the game. Actually, in so the that's interesting. No, I. this is all getting clear to me. I mean, of course, um, the sometimes an easy answer is well what do i like that someone else is doing and how can i therefore emulate that version from from I mean, my version of that and so in your case it's kind of easy because you could just kind of watch what i'm doing and notice oh i like it when he does that i don't like it so much when he does that good now i have my my playbook uh, to say okay what i like i'm going to write that down i'm going to do that too what i don't like i'm going to write that down make sure not to do that um, and you could, of course, use the same, 
you know, uh, exercise with everybody around you, uh, all the other um, experts around you. Whatever. But it sounds to me, therefore, um, now you say you don't have a stage, an audience, and, and we can maybe complete uh, at, at this point with this, with this one. We all have an audience. <laughs> I always like to say you were born with an ideal audience your 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 parents <laughs> when you first start, came out and you you were just learning to speak to communicate blah blah ga, goo, goo, ga, ga, you know you're speaking it didn't, didn't make any sense but you still had an ideal audience didn't understand you until one day you said mama dada suddenly you said something that totally resonated with them <laughs> and they're like yes 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 and so that's like my three stages of content creation you first explore it tried goo goo ga, ga, blah, blah, blah. i don't know what i'm saying i'm just going to say all these different things all these different fields pivot at 180 times in the first 30 days trying all these different topics and then suddenly one day i say something and the audience will mama dada that that, that may, yes you're speaking to me you're that makes a lot of sense i feel that and <laughs> and so right, yeah. so so of course um Understand some of us don't don't have our parents around anymore some of us my, my parents don't care about my content they don't understand any of it but you have an audience which is all of your friends all of the people that you could email all the people that are connected to you on linkedin or facebook or blah, blah. so fabian i know you have con you have contacts of course and that is the audience you start with perhaps or the people that they could promote your content to but but uh and i sounds like you know ads as well like google ads etc but but i of think course. the audience in terms of the advertising audience obviously you need to get clear on who you're advertising to and and uh maybe you could look at your existing clients and your existing friends and colleagues and say hmm, of these people who do i most enjoy working with if i if i taught a course and i could have those perfect people come to me who would i want you know, and maybe that's a good start to, to, to do that exercise and go, okay, it's going to be, you know, Bob and Sarah and Jane, those are the people. Now, let me talk to them then in my mind, you know, when I'm, but I don't know if this is helpful as a next step. It, it is helpful, but I think it's, it's the second before the first step. Um, when I will listen to you is, when I was listening to you, uh, my thoughts going around, what is my why? Why I'm doing this? Why should I do good, this? Good question. Of course, oh, I raised okay. Facebook accounts yeah. with 50 and 60,000 followers. <laughs> Maybe I'm tired of this. Maybe. Mm. So the, the question is, back to the, the question, uh, what is the next step? And I answered, uh, yeah, are we going like, up a hill or going to beach? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, why does it matter to you? Like, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Why should I do this? Yeah, that's <laughs> that why, is a really I, 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 the, why should I do this? I, I, I love to help, of course. Yeah, of course. If, of course. Uh, if someone asks me, he yeah. give he, he gets help, he gets an answer. Yeah. yeah but yeah. I want to be asked. Asked. Is it yeah, I want to be asked. Yeah. And the, the question is the why. To help, of course. That's no problem. But sitting here in uh, in, in my office. Isolation. And, yeah, yes, isolation, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. This was uh, the question I was thinking about: the why, yeah. why, why should I do this? Thank yes. you. I, I'm, so, I'm so glad we ended up with actually the correct question, and let's do that in a different segment. Um, yeah. So, but but for those of you watching this, uh, at least in terms of the first steps after the why, uh, look at the links below for um, these blog posts that will help you with the first step. So, thank you, Great. Fabian, for raising this. Thank you very much. Yeah.